COVID-19 vaccine, AstraZeneca error that may jeopardize approval, AstraZeneca boasted a 90% efficacy rate on its AZD1222 COVID-19 vaccine, but an issue may affect early or conditional approval. The company and the University of Oxford revealed a mistake in the preliminary findings. This mistake is found days after announcing the efficacy. According to Time magazine, the company and the university determined that some participants didn't get the right dose in the first of the two-shot regimen. This was no mention or explanation of why it occurred. The key error was traced back to the efficacy rates unveiled by AstraZeneca. In those who receive a single dose, the efficacy was 90%, while those who got two doses, the efficacy was 62%. Together, the overall efficacy rate was 70%. Experts who examined the partial data ask how the participants ended up with a lower dose than the rest. Did the company mean giving half a dose? Statistically, the number of people who received half a dose and one full dose later was 2,741. The number of participants who got two full doses was 8,895. The differences between the total numbers might not reflect solid effectiveness. Experts also learned that none of the low-dose group had participants aged over 55 years. Since younger adults tend to have stronger immune systems, their bodies would produce better immune responses. That might explain the high efficacy rate in the group, not the small dose. And finally, the 70% general efficacy rate was confusing. Associate Fellow at the Chatham House David Salisbury commented how investigators came up with an overall result. The doses in the two studies were different. So, the combined result doesn't represent either dose. Jeffrey Porges, an analyst for SVB Leering, said, I think that they have really damaged confidence in their whole development program. The New York Times reported that the error was made by a contractor. AstraZeneca's Manelas Pangalos, EVP of R&D at AstraZeneca said, Regulators were notified right away when the problem was detected. Then, they signed the continuation of vaccine testing at different doses. The scientific community noticed a crucial piece in the data is missing. Without that piece, the findings are spawning questions instead of answers. These questions may impact the transparency and public trust. Pangalos clarified the company had no intention to give just half a dose to any participant. Researchers of the trial were instructed to administer full doses.